Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play KOTAR! And, uh, yep. That's right, I'm a Sith. Turn to the dark side. Deal with it. Nah, I'm just kidding. I just put on the, uh, armor I got from the last episode. That crazy party, which I think everybody is, um... Well, they're gone. Huh. Odd. But, yeah, so, um... Now, we're going to go around in our Sith outfit, SCARING PEOPLE! <laughs> because it's funny. Yeah, believe it or not, people that you talk to normally actually have different reactions when you're wearing a Sith uniform. I don't think Karth does, though. Yes, what's in your mind? Yeah, because he knows that you. Right now. Eh, why is that working? There we go. You got it. You got it. Alright, uh, let's see here. Let's see, let's explore this apartment complex just a bit. Get some get some goodies there. <laughs> hey, look, a woman. Let's talk to this woman. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of official Sith business. See? See, she thinks I'm a Sith. <laughs> it's funny. Ooh, foot locker. Hmm. Ooh, look, a man. Look, watch. Please, don't take me for questioning. I, I don't know anything. I swear. Say, <laughs> everybody thinks you're a Sith. I I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of official Sith business. Karth, break into this door. What? On it. It's open. What? What? You're... You're with the Sith, ain't you? Oh, sure. I, I recognize the uniform. <laughs> what do you want? I haven't done anything wrong. If you want to search the place, go ahead. I won't stop you. I've got nothing to hide from you. Hmm. I always say we take off our uniform and talk to this guy normally. Oh, wait, that's right, the light battle armor. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. What? Please. I don't want to die. Here, I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. It's another guy that's hiding out from Davik's goons. Oh, boy, I swear. This Davik guy is some kind of sorcerer. Well, he's a crime lord. But he knows how to scare people. Alright, uh, what are you babbling about? You mean, you're not here to kill me? But uh, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? Hmm. Maybe I should just kill you and collect a bounty more. <laughs> okay, that's the dark side option. But like I said, we're being light side, so maybe we could help him with his little problem with Davik like we've helped all the others. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. Oh dear. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. And how can you make 200 credits if he's hiding? Oh, it's a shame. Well, I mean, 200 credits is a lot. But hey, we'll make it back in those duels and whatnot. So... And then it's light side points, which is always nice. So, uh, here you go, buddy. 200 credits. Take it and be free. You'd give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? Damn straight. <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later on. Shut now cars. I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You saved my life. <sighs> I'd better go give this to Davik right away. Look at that. Good amount of experience, light side points. Old journal entry, let's see what it says. Oh, it should be in the completed section, yeah. Out of the goodness of your heart, you've given Largo the money to pay Davik back, likely saving the poor man's life. Oh, there we go. Helping out people. Right, let's put on the Sith uniform again, and uh, look at that, we're pretty light side -y now. Alright. Put the. There we go. 
standard door. Oh, it's just to the upper city. Wait, I think I forgot a room. Yeah, I definitely did. Because I was uh, in such a hurry to get to the party. I remember passing this door. Uh huh. Alright, bust Honest. it open. It's open! <gasps> There's a family what? in here. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't want to get in the way of. You're one of them Sith, ain't you? My mommy says I'm not supposed to talk to you. Oh, jeez. You're one of them Sith, ain't you? What? My mommy says I'm not supposed to talk to you. You know, I thought that was a kind of masculine voice. Are you kidding me? They were so lazy that they couldn't do a separate little girl's voice and little boy's voice, but instead they did like a combination of the two to where it could sound either like a boy or a little girl. My god, Bioware. You know, I never really realized that till just now, but that is lazy. That is just lazy. Okay, well... Uh, I guess we'll head back to the canteen and start scaring people. Uh oh, hey, chill! Bless me. Oh, thank you, me. You're welcome, me. I do 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 do. Hey, look, they'll they'll think I'm a Sith too. Much. Told you, we're on patrol. We're on patrol! They all got like blaster rifles and I have like swords. Well, they think that's weird. Like, hey, wait. Where's your standard issue blaster rifle? Uh. I like swords. <laughs> oh. Well, carry on then. Oh, wait. Here's the sassy shop owner. Let's see what she has to say. Oh, hello there. What can I do for you? Would you like to see my inventory? That is why you're here, isn't it? I hope so. I want to ask you some questions. Questions? Oh, I, I don't know anything. Nothing you sit would find interesting anyway. I'm just a simple shopkeeper. Of course, of course, right away. <laughs> Told her she's all frightened and shaking her boots. She's wearing boots. i be wearing regular shoes. Maybe like moccasins or something. No, I don't think moccasins exist in this universe. Do they? Nah, no way. I saw a couple of these vibro blades. Uh, I don't need these short swords anymore. Actually, they sell for nothing, so I just got nothing out of that. Just gave them away for free, I guess. Whatever. Um, do do do. Oh yeah, I don't really need the combat suit anymore. And uh... yeah, I guess that's it. Okay. <laughs> That'd be cool if she gave me like a special Sith discount or something, but no. Oh look, here's another um Sith Trooper guy. Well it's the same Sith Trooper guy, but you know. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't go into the canteen while you're on duty. Huh? Oh that's right! Crap, yeah, they make it so that you can't go in with a uniform and Oh, Gypsies! We just came all this way for no reason! Oh, sorry, I'll be going. Good. Get back to your patrol route. We need to keep a strong presence in the streets to maintain order here. Oh, criminy. Oh, well, so there's not that many people I guess you can scare, but. Ooh, how about Lorm? Yeah, let's go scare him. I'll do the return to hideout because it's like a little bit quicker. Oh, Lorum! Wait, remains? Really? I lost. I forgot to pick up. Oh, it's just a repair. Can't believe I forgot to pick up. <gasps> and Dia! Let's see what she has to say. Another Sith Patrol. I'm telling you, you're wasting your time here. Go ahead and search my apartment again if you want. You'll find the same thing as last time. Nothing. Ha <laughs> Man, you can't even, like, access his store while you're, uh, in this suit. Jeez. It's a little extreme. Ah, let's transit back. Oh, wait, what about the janitor? I bet he's got some kind of witty old thing to say. 
Like, hey, don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, it's not really too witty. You don't, 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 don't hurt me. I'm just the janitor here. Oh I my god, I totally called you that. Sith, you Sith. I didn't. I didn't even remember he said that. Oh my god, I so called it. <laughs> I called it for sure. Oh ho, up top, Carthia. Yeah. Okay, let's have an engaging conversation with Carthia while we're in this uniform. Yes, what's on your mind? Hey, get out of here, Twilight chick. Oh, we can't. Yeah, there's no options. I guess we didn't gain enough experience. All right, let's get out of here. You got it. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, well, let's keep exploring Upper City, see if we can get more information out of people. Over there, we haven't quite explored yet, so let's check it out. Actually, let's take off the uniform. We want uh, good first impressions of we're first meeting people. And then we'll return later with the uniform to scare them! <laughs> oh yeah. It's a medical facility. It's a hospital or something. Can't you see I'm busy with my duties? What? Go talk to Zelka if you need something. Oh. Alright, we'll do. Hey, look, a robot. <laughs> Oh wow, usually these kind of robots don't beep and boop, it's usually the little ones that do. Oh well. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Selka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Rackle disease? What's that? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the Rackghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Oh dear. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rackghouls themselves, becoming Sheesh. mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. God! Well, the Undercity just got ten times darker. Oh, I'm looking forward to going there. Is there no cure? Mm, there is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rakgul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how that's going to happen. Jeez. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I could find a way to get my hands on that serum for you. I am pretty badass, you know. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Well, I did fight a lot of Sith patrols on that ship before we came here, but, you know. Anyway, let's see what you got for sale. Actually, we should ask him some questions first. I am quite busy maintaining the facility, but I suppose I could spare a bit of time to answer some questions. What would you like to know? Do you know anything about those Republic escape pods that crashed into the Undercity? Republic escape pods? I, no. Why would you ask me that? I don't know. Those pods crashed in the Undercity. I'm not involved in any way. Hmm, you seem awfully defensive about this. I'm not defensive, I just don't like being accused of knowing something about those Republic parts. This is as bad as an interrogation by the Sith. Sheesh. Don't worry, I'm not with the Sith. I won't betray your secret, if you tell me. Well, you don't look like you're with the Sith. Uh, I guess I can tell you my secret. Or rather, I can show you. Oh boy, I'm a little worried. If it's like some kind of monster like Frankenstein Since or something. the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who <gasps> crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. Oh dear. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. 
Sheesh, don't worry, man. Your secret's safe with me. That's amazing. You're, you're an angel. An angel! Thank you for keeping my secret. I only wish there was more I could do, but medical science has only come so far. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Jeez, medical science in the Star Wars universe has only come so far. What hope is there for our world? Alright, well, dude, what if, like, one of these guys was Trask? Like, somehow he survived. <gasps> it would be amazing, although he said that these guys won't live. It's a shame. But anyway, uh, so, we're reaching the minute mark yet again, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And the next episode, um, we're gonna try to get into the lower city. Not the undercity, but the lower city. That's, like, right before the undercity. Apparently there are swoop dings there and stuff, so it might be a little dangerous. So, stay tuned, hope you enjoyed, and I will catch